Friday, so Black Friday is coming up this week, and I wanted to film a really quick gift guide featuring some of my favorite fragrances, as well as a beauty item that I think is a great deal and everyone should run to get before it's sold out. So the first thing that I'm going to start with is that beauty deal that I love, and it's from Benefit, and I bought it at Sephora. And it's this kit that's called the Big Ten, and it has all of the ten most raved about or most popular products from Benefit. So this kit includes a race paste, stay don't stray, Benetent, posy tent, high beam, oola lift, that gal, dandelion, bella bomba, and the poor professional. So today I did open it up so that I could try it out before I reviewed it because these are all products that I have been really interested in for a while I've heard different people talk about it and I've seen them used in some tutorials and it seemed very interesting. So I did use, um, let me open this up. So today I used um, the erased paste for my under eye. I used the Pore Professional which I think is awesome. This little guy right here which is supposed to shrink your pores and it really did. And then I tried the Dandelion, um, it's like a blush, it's like a really soft pink, I really like it. And I also used the Bella Bomba over that to just kind of see what effect it would give and it gave just more of like a shimmery kind of highlighted look. And I really like that. And then I used the Brightening Face Primer, the That Gal. And I can't say that I noticed a huge difference. I don't know, I've only tried it once, so. Yeah, so I used the Stay Don't Stray. I used, I didn't use the Benetit yet, but I tried the Posey Tent. I really like that. And I love the High Beam. And the Ula Lift is supposed to be an all over face brightener, and I did use that a little bit. So you might be able to see kind of like a dewy effect. Um, but yeah, basically this is awesome because now I can try out all of the little baby sizes and I'm definitely going to purchase a couple of them in the large, um, in their large versions. So I'll keep you posted as to which ones I choose to go and buy the full size. So that's the first one that I think, oh and it's only $39, that's the big kicker. So I mean that's just crazy and I think that it will last for quite some time. I mean these cans are pretty good size, like the dandelion, let's see, it's a pretty good, I'm not sure how deep it is, but, jeez, <laughs> thank you, not sure how deep it is, but I mean, it's a pretty good size, so that's going to last quite some time, but yeah, I think it's a great deal, so hurry up, I know that it's sold out online, because I looked yesterday, and that's how I found it on their website, but then at my local store, they had it, so, I looked out there. Okay, so let me jump into fragrances. And I think I have them all. Oops, I gotta go around and get two more. So I'm gonna start with the most fun and girly of the bunch. Do you have a friend that loves to have hair that smells really good and you just know like that one friend in particular loves for their hair to smell really good? This is a great option for them. This is the Aqualina Pink Sugar Hair Perfume. And I really like this. It um, it smells just like the perfume. It's very um, sugary and girly. It's very it's very girly. <laughs> it, it's a little bit younger, and that's why I like it for my hair. Because after maybe I've been outside all day, or I've been working out, or something like that, it's great to just kind of spray through, and it gives you like a nice scent but it's not overpowering you know so I really like this one it's great for um, you know younger people and things like that so yeah so this one is really good all right the next perfume up is one by Chanel and this one is called Chance and the bottle looks like this the bottle looks like this and this one is very strong it's very sophisticated um, Think. It kind of reminds me of Dior Cherie, but um, it's it's girly, but it's it 
it's a bit um, it's a bit more sophisticated, you know, but it's still very feminine, very girly. It lasts forever. It's pretty heavy. You don't need a lot. I would say one spray would do you just fine, and um, it lasts very well. The next one I have is by Versace, and I liked it so much that I bought it twice in the baby size and in the large size. This is probably my most worn perfume, and this is called Versace Bright Crystal, and it looks like this in the bottle looks like this. It's kind of a pinkish rose colored perfume and it's just, it smells just like the name. It's very bright. Uh, it's very, it's just very girly. I don't know how to explain it, but it's not offensive at all. It's just, it's really nice. It's very clean. It won't be overpowering. I wear it a lot in the summer because it I tend to get headaches if the fragrance is too strong when it's really hot out. So that is a great option for that's a great option for someone that doesn't like overpowering perfumes. And this next one also is the same way. It's very, very light, and this is Bulgari Note. And this one is just very light and powdery. Um, I really like the fragrance a lot. The only qualm I have about this is that it doesn't last as long as, say, Versace or Chanel, but it is just something that is so light and airy and powdery. If you know someone that really likes powdery fragrances, this would be a great option for them. And that one is Bulgari Note. And then the next one I have is by Tommy Bahama. I reviewed this one in the summer. And this one is called Set Cell St. Bart's. And this one smells awesome. It's just like a very beachy kind of, it's got notes of like green tea and citrus, but not like orange citrus, more like, I'd say like lime type of citrus. And this is what the bottle looks like. It's very sailor inspired. It's so pretty. And um, I love this. Again, the lasting, the staying power of it isn't as great per se as Chanel or Versace. Um, but it is really light. And I feel like some of the lighter fragrances just don't last as long. But I don't mind because sometimes I'm just really in the mood for something light. And the next one is the last one that I have. And this is Versace. Crystal Noir, not to be confused with Bright Crystal, but they're in very similar packaging. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. It's a very dark bottle, and you might think that because it's so dark, it's like really heavy, like old lady smelling scent, but it's not at all. And I honestly never would have picked up the bottle had I not smelled it on someone else first. But this is just an incredible scent. I can't even... It's like powdery and light. You know, even though the bottle is very dark, you may not think that you, it would be something you would like. Give it a try. I, and I think I found this at Neiman Marcus. It's kind of hard to find. Um, they might carry it at Sephora, but I'm not sure. I know that Sephora carries almost all of the other ones that I mentioned, so if that's where you're going, you shouldn't have a problem finding them. But if you do, then just comment below or message me or something like that and I can try to help you locate it. So hopefully you enjoyed that super quick gift guide. I guess it's more of like a benefit gift guide and like perfume gift guide. But hopefully that, maybe those aren't some of the perfumes you've ever heard of or heard people talk about. I know the Aquilina one's very, very popular and I love the hair perfume. Um, but yeah, some of the other ones are awesome. You should definitely give it a try and let me know what you think. So hopefully everyone's having an awesome week and you're getting ready for Thanksgiving. And I will see you guys very soon. Thanks so much. See you later. Bye.